Welcome to a brand new video. These tips are the best tips you've ever heard for your pitching and your chipping. It's short game Saturday. We're gonna be breaking down the chipping and the pitching action because it's so important you understand the differences and how to implement it. If you are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Now, we're gonna get straight into the pitching tips now, but how many wedges do you carry in your bag? I currently carry four. I've got pitching wedge, 58, 54, and 60. What are you gaming? So, for today's drills, you're gonna need three alignment sticks. The yellow alignment stick is gonna be running parallel to your ball to target line, and the two other alignment sticks are going to help you with what we want the hands to feel like on the way back and on the way through. So it's super important we understand how we stand to a pitch shot and how we stand to a chip shot. Now I've got this drill here, most commonly I see people stand wrong to both of them. So this drill is going to help us understand what the swing wants to look like, what the lever system wants to look like. And that's going to give us ultimate control of our pitching. Now, how often do we hear the top guys, the top pros go, wow, I'm so good inside 100 yards, it helps me. I make more birdies, I save more pars, I score more points in Stableford. Why don't we do this? Honestly, why don't we do this? I'm talking to myself there as well, but obviously I'm talking to you behind the screen there too. So the setup wants to look like this. We're gonna place the club down behind the ball. We're gonna feel like we got the sole of the club entirely touching the ground, okay? So it might feel that like you're a little bit closer to this golf ball than you usually would. We're going to shuffle in. We're going to create a stance that is just in of shoulder width apart. We're hitting a pitch shot here. Our stance will get a little bit wider as we make more of a fuller pitch shot and a little bit narrower as we hit a little bit more of a closer chip shot, which we'll get into in the later part of the video. We then want to feel we've got our feet, knees, hips and shoulders all running parallel to the yellow. Once we've got them running parallel to the yellow, we're going to go weight left, Spray the left foot, pull the left foot back. But at this point, I still want you to feel shoulders are parallel to yellow, okay? That's so important. That helps us control that club path. With the weight left and the ball position in the middle, this is gonna help us create a consistent bottom of the arc. Now we have to talk about the swing. We're now talking blue lines and how we get this swing in a little bit better. Now, the expression that I use for all pitching, it is a two, lever system so that makes us feel like we get a set of the wrist so the two levers are number one the golf club number two your arm it couldn't be any simpler so what i want you to feel is as we're doing this in the takeaway get into that setup our club head just feels like it works around the outside of this blue alignment stick on the way back and then runs along the out just the outside of the blue alignment stick on the way through now you'll notice here this angle here is roughly about 30 degrees on the way back and on the way through. Remember, we keep it simple on here. We don't have to get so precise. It's just to give you some guidelines, to give you some feelings. It's going to honestly transform it. It's going to transform it. So the swing we're looking for is going to set up, run it along it until it gets to hip height, and then we're going to set it. Then we're going to turn and hold it on the way through. So I'm going to hit this one away for you. This is something that I have to really concentrate on. I'm an absolute bugger for dragging it inside. Then I've got to do a lot of scooping, a lot of saving. It's not conducive to good pitching. Oh, that was so nice. Clipped off, finish it, hold it, pose it. Let's summarize that pitching. Want those feet just in a shoulder width apart, ball position in the middle, weight left, but spraying the left foot. And now we've got to create a motion where we're creating two levers, one with the arm, one with the club head. Now, we're gonna go a little bit more technical here and talk about positions in your pitching swing. So we want to have a feeling, once we've set these wrists at this motion, that's position one. Position two, the arm swing to shoulder height. Position three, we make it a bit more of a freewheeled motion. And the expression that I use is once we put it in the position, let the club fall on the ball. We don't want anything aggressive, we don't want anything flash towards the ball. We want to feel like we set it, we let it go, we pose and we hold it. Controlling the speed, making the speed look like the shot we want to hit, making the setup look like the shot we want to hit. It sounds so simple. I want to stand to a wedge like I would a driver, so why would we swing it like it? Come on, right. 
Okay, I'm going to go for my second position here. That's the hands to shoulder. Drop it on the ball. Spin, baby. Right, it's now time to get into the shorter chip shots around the green and how that setup works. Now time to get into that shorter stuff, that one lever action, to get a little bit closer to the green. So let's talk about how we stand to this shot. So we mentioned earlier that like, if we're stood further away, stance wants to get wider. As we get closer to the green, our stance wants to get a little bit narrower. And this really helps us determine the speed of the swing, the length of the swing, and basically control the shot. So what I'm looking for you to do to help you really improve is club down again, like we said earlier, feeling as though we've got the whole of the sole running along the ground. Now, this is the same setup as I would adopt for all these chip shots, no matter what club we've got, just off the green. So into the club, walking in, making sure from the down the line perspective, which you can see now, we've got the shaft a little bit steeper. We then got a stance, which is just wide of the club and width apart. Weight left, spray the left foot, keeping the shoulders parallel to board the target line. It really just helps me get through the shot, because if you think about it, we've got such a short swing, we need a little bit of help, We've not got the momentum as we would with a driver swing. So just opening those hips up a little bit, but keeping the shoulders square, just helps us clear them. Now we're in the space to feel club head stays outside the blue, same angles as before, club head stays outside the blue. And I like to feel like this swing is a one lever swing. So we mentioned before, two levers, one and two. Now what we're looking for is one lever back, one lever through. One thing I do feel sometimes, I create a little bit of set in this lead wrist, but Imagine I got a laser, okay, in the middle of my path. I want that to stay pointing down towards roughly where the ball is throughout. So not a lot of rotation, feeling back and through, back and through. It's going to make it so consistent. A little pop and run shot. We need it. We need it. Here we go. This is the feeling. In. Become second nature, this guys. It becomes second nature. One lever, back and hold. It's so simple. We've not got to do any manipulation, dragging it in, pulling it up. It makes your chipping so simple. And now you understand the differences between your chipping and pitching. When you get back out on the golf course, this is going to be a sharp area of your game. Right, so if we want to hit this one a little bit higher, maybe open the face, apply the same technique, a little bit further back, a little bit further through. Same technique, same position the ball's finished, little bit more loft. The expression I get everybody to do, so if you come for a lesson with me, we will try and use the same technique, but change the loft, change the club, change the situation. Because you think about it, a lot of people try and change their technique every single time, but if you had a constant, and we said that constant was your technique, and you just changed it with the clubs that you use, it makes chipping so simple. I promise you, It'll be absolutely groundbreaking when you get this. Thanks for watching today's Short Game Saturday. As always, thanks so much for all the support, all the comments. Um, I hope they're helping you. I know a lot of you are commenting like, Sam Smith. Now, I said in last week's Short Game Saturday, um, wonder if that's the real Sam Smith. So he's commented back on the video saying, Alex, sorry to disappoint you. Uh, I am not the actual Sam Smith. Definitely better looking. Um, took your lesson today to my net and got the feeling. Really enjoyed hitting the shots into the green. Great, great to hear, Sam, that's really helping you. Um, Andrea Malavasa, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. That's my mank accent trying to do that. Um, brilliant video. This really helped me when I played this week. Guys, I really enjoy reading your comments out, as always, because it really feels like I'm actually doing the content for somebody, not just talking to a camera, and it makes me feel like I'm making an improvement in your golf game. Thanks for watching, and smash that big red subscribe button down there. Go on, you know you want to.